The egg is your keto diet best friend. Before you continue, check out the description to get our special $67 value training guide today. Let's face it, for many decades now, the egg as humble as it may look, has been demonized. There's really no other word that does justice to what so-called dietary experts and healthcare professionals have done to the egg. Think about it, for hundreds, if not thousands of years, people have relied on the simple chicken egg for a decent chunk of their daily sustenance. It's easy to see why, eggs are normally cheap. They're very compact. They're very portable. They are also very adaptable and versatile. You can you can turn them into souffles. You can make omelets. You can bake them into a wide range of dishes. You can add them as a firming ingredient. You can use it as a binder. You can also separate it between egg whites and egg yolk. There's just so many things you could do with the egg. It is really quite a shame that for such a long time, we have been told that the egg is really bad for us. This is due to the fact that there has been such a tremendous amount of misconceptions regarding cholesterol. Well, thanks to research within the past 10 years, we now have a clear and accurate view of the egg's effect on the human health. What is a new consensus? It turns out that the egg, while loaded with cholesterol, is actually good for us. It not only contains a long laundry list of vitamins and nutrients and minerals, it also has a very small calorie footprint. It is also loaded with fat that makes you feel fuller for a longer period of time. It really is quite sad that the egg, along with dietary fat and cholesterol, have been demonized throughout all these years. The reason for this, of course, is that people were distracted from looking at the real culprit. There is a real culprit behind America's ever-expanding waistline. There is a biochemical compound to blame for the obesity epidemic that is gripping the United States, the European Union, and all other areas of the world where there is a large middle class. This dietary culprit, of course, is sugar, also known as carbohydrates. That steaming bowl of rice that you're enjoying, or that pile of mashed potatoes, or stack of bread that you normally love to eat, they can actually cause more damage to your system than fat. The reason for this, of course, is that people tend to eat more carbohydrates, and carbohydrates are very inflammatory. When you look at the molecular structure of carbohydrates, it is easy to see why. There are so many attraction points on the surface of carbohydrates that they soak up a tremendous amount of water. When you eat a lot of carbs, your body soaks up a tremendous amount of water. I wish I could tell you that this is harmless, it isn't. When you have all that water in your blood, in your skin, and also affecting your nervous system, you get inflamed. Inflammation is bad news. Not only do you develop bad skin, or you're more susceptible to pimples, and other skin blemishes, as well as wrinkles, you are also prematurely aging your body. You're putting a tremendous amount of pressure on your bloodstream, and this translates to high blood pressure and other cardiovascular issues. I can go on and on. Arising above all of this is the humble egg. The egg has been unfairly demonized throughout the years, but the truth is, the egg is one of our dietary best friends. It definitely should be your best friend if you adopt the keto diet. It packs a lot of clean protein, which is vital for tissue building and regeneration. It also has a low calorie footprint, and since it's loaded with fat, it can make you feel fuller for a longer period of time. Rediscover the egg today. If you want to switch to the keto diet, check out the description for a blueprint that will enable you to do so quickly and safely. Hint, the egg is part of the plan. Eating more eggs is part of the plan.